morning. We'll be starting at eight. Oh, it's just turned eight as I said that. It's amazing. Okay, um, it's a good morning. It's a lovely morning. The sun's shining in this morning. Yay! Um, I hope you're okay. So um, we're just going to come straight into it. So you can sit, you can kneel, you can do whatever you choose, but we're just going to take three breaths just to bring ourselves into our practice this morning. So relaxing your shoulders and see if you can let the eyes close. Just let the hands be heavy wherever they are and just feel three inhales and release three exhales. See if you can let them just get a little bit deeper. And at the end of the next exhale, blink the eyes are open. Just have a bit of a wriggle, especially if you're doing this with me live, just get the body moving. I do like to have a wriggle of my waist, a bit of a circle movement and take it into the shoulders. Okay, a um, bit of an energizing practice today. So um, just gonna come to hands and knees straight away. And uh, just take a couple of rounds of cat cow. So make sure your knees are hip distance apart. Make sure your, your hands are not too close to your knees as well. So a bit of distance, spread your fingers and we drop the belly. See if we can draw the chest forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together with an inhale. And as you exhale, rounding up, push away from the ground. And take three more of those. And next time you exhale, just see if you can hold it up there, just give the hips a bit of a wriggle. Really let your head drop, give the head a shake. And then come to a neutral spine. And we're gonna walk the hands forwards just a little bit, spread your fingers really wide, tuck the toes. And then we're gonna lift up the knees and send the hips up and then send them back. So you get a nice arm stretch. Knees are gonna be nice and soft, feet are a hip distance apart. And start to bend one knee straight in the other leg and have like a walk without going anywhere. So just waking it up. But just notice if you're right over your wrists, send the weight back. So this is our downward dog. Just holding it here for another breath or two. A little bit of weight through both heels, see if you can get heavy. Just waking up the backs of the legs, but just move very carefully because it is early. And then look towards your hands. I'm gonna step up to the front of the mat, coming into a forward fold. So bending over the legs, legs are nice and bent. See if you can rest your tummy on your thighs. Take a hold of your elbows and let the head be heavy. And just start to have a bit of a sway, keeping it very easy. And notice if your head is hanging up here. See if you can take your chin right to your chest, let your head hang down. And really take a wriggle into the spine. Just bring some space in it after your sleep. Okay, and then release your hands down and we slide the hands all the way up onto your thighs and we lift the upper body halfway, so a halfway lift. See if you can draw the tummy muscles up, straighten the legs. So you might be high, you might be low. Listen to your body. Take a breath in here and exhale, dive it down. And this time take the arms out wide and you kind of come all the way up to standing, taking the arms up overhead, fingertips touch. Look up to your hands and exhale, hands come to your heart. And we take that again, arms wide, reaching up high. And exhale, coming in. One last time, big inhale. And exhale, hands come in. Okay, bring the hands to your hips and we're going to pick up your right knee, very tiny balance. Send that foot back behind you and step it into a wide leg stance. Okay, left toes are going to point forwards, the back toes are kind of in about 45 degree angle and very gently bend into that front knee, so this is our warrior stance. And we're going to float the arms out wide, palms face down to the ground, relax your shoulders and take your gaze over your front middle finger. 
So we just want to very gently just little bob in and out. So we're just waking up, warming up, but just welcoming a little bit of space and strength into our body today. Okay, back hand's going to come onto the back thigh. Reach up and over with that top hand. And depending on your neck, you can look up or you can look down. But we just take a very couple of little gentle bounces in that front knee staying bent. So waking up the side body. And then see if you can keep leaning over but straighten the front leg and you start to go a bit deeper into that stretch. Waking up the side body this morning. And then let's stay straight, bring it forwards, arms back into that warrior two stance. Reach forwards, so we're gonna draw this hip crease back. Lower your hand over to your thigh, to your shin, and take the top arm up into your triangle pose. See if you can draw your left hip crease back. Maybe the gaze goes up, maybe it goes down, your choice. But take a couple of breaths. And then push through your feet, lift yourself up, bend into the front knee, back into your warrior two. Okay, back hand is going to windmill up and over, spinning onto the toes of the back foot. Hands come down either side of your front foot, plant your hands and step it back into a plank pose. And we're going to lower the knees and we're going to roll the body all the way down to the ground. So we come to lie on our tummies. Okay, with hands by the ribs, elbows pointing up, inhale, cobra chest lifts away from the ground and exhale lower it down pushing up hands and knees tuck the toes spread your fingers wide up into your second downward dog and maybe the hamstrings are still tight so keep bending and straightening the legs but really push through your fingertips push through your knuckles send the shoulders away from your wrists good stretch through the spine and then look towards your hands i'm going to step up to the front of the mat into a forward fold with an inhale rising up halfway and exhale send it down arms wide reach up look up and exhale hands come into your heart okay bring the hands to your hips i'm going to do it this way so you can see okay picking up the left knee little balance Send that foot out behind you and step it back into your warrior stance this time, side. So right toes are pointing forward, left toes are just coming in slightly. Bending into that front knee and let's float the arms out, arms parallel to the floor, palms facing down. Relax your shoulders and look at your front middle finger. If you feel a bit stiff, keep it fluid. If you wanna go for a bit of a stronger practice and really sink the hips down, Taking a breath and then lower the back hand onto the back thigh, reach up and over, looking up or looking down at the back heel. It's a reverse warrior. And just again, if you're feeling stiff, just very, very gentle sway movements. But nice and steady through your feet. Okay, and then we're gonna straighten the front leg here. So if you can just take that stretch in the side body a little bit deeper. Okay, and then really push through your front big toe Bring yourself into this wide leg with wide legged wide arm stance, okay? And then we're going to reach it forward. So you're drawing the right hip crease back, hand rest on your thigh or on your shin, reaching up into your triangle pose. So if you can draw your right hip crease back and lengthen through your waist, relax your shoulders, breathe into this beautiful shape. And then lift it back up, bend into the front knee, back into your warrior two. Might sink a little bit deeper. And then this back hand is going to windmill all the way up and over. Frame your front foot, spin onto the back toes, plant your hands, step it back into plank. So your choice, so I know we're all mixed levels here. So you can lower the knees and roll down onto your tummy or shift your weight forwards, bend the elbows into the body. Lower all the way down in one. Untuck the toes. Whenever you get there, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, cobra. Breathing into the chest. And exhale, lower it down. Push it up, hands and knees. And let's just finish with another couple of rounds of cat-cow because it's early in the morning. So drop the belly, inhale, look forward. See so if you've got a bit more space in your spine. 
exhale, round away, push away from the ground. Take it one more time. Exhaling. And let's send it all the way into your child pose, the hips towards your heels, chest, forehead towards the ground. You can rest your hand on your, uh, your, your head on your hands if you want to, but just see if you can take three nice breaths here. Full breaths. And then when you're ready, walk the hands in towards the body. You can stay kneeling or come into a seat. Give the shoulders a shrug. Notice how you feel. A little bit pumped. <laughs> so uh, whatever this feeling is, just acknowledge it and take it into your day. Um, and just bring a smile to whoever is in your home or whoever you see on FaceTime or whatever today. Okay. Have a lovely day. Tomorrow, before you go, is going to be, uh, and don't let this put you off, a uh, bit of chair yoga. Get a really good stretch. And it also, um, we can share that with, with people who have less mobility as well. So uh, I want to do something for everybody. So we just finished. Bring the hands together in prayer in front of the heart. Bowing the head to the hands, the mind to the body. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. Whatever it is you do, whoever you're with. Lots of love to you. Thank you.